For an alternative to AutoCAD, consider NanoCAD. It runs quickly on your desktop computer and laptop, even with older specs. It doesn't need special hardware, and it's not limited by unreliable connections to the cloud. NanoCAD is permanent in its license. Pay for it once, use it forever. Or get the cheaper maintenance plan that comes with support and upgrades. There's even a free version of NanoCAD, version 5. In addition to the free version of NanoCAD, there's two more, more professional versions. First of all, there's NanoCAD Plus, which adds API so it can be customized through programming. Then there's NanoCAD Pro, which adds in 3D solid modeling and 2D constraints. On top of these, there are the vertical apps, and that includes uh, Mechanica, which is for doing 2D mechanical drawings, comes with standard parts and additional tools for automating the drafting process. Then there's two for the construction industry. NanoCAD Construction has a large library of parts and additional commands for creating drawings for AEC. And then Construction Site is built on top of construction. It helps plan and organize how the construction will take place on the site. Let me give you a tour of NanoCAD so you can see how similar it is to AutoCAD plus some of the bonus features it has. So over here we have toolbars as you expect to see them. And there's a layers drop list, menu bar, all that's perfectly normal. Here's the properties uh, palette and there's a few other palettes. Another one's called Drawing Explorer which uh, tells you everything that's in the drawing. File Explorer for accessing drawings. Sheet Set Manager. Don't have any sheet sets loaded right now, but that's where you would manipulate them. And then there's the popular tool palettes. Here's the command bar where you can enter in commands and uh, you also get a list of all the commands that have those letters in it. So I'm going to type in LI. That's an alias for line command. Press enter. So let me just draw a couple of lines here. And then I'll draw a circle using uh, object tracking. Let's do the first point is at the midpoint here. And then I'm going to grab the midpoint over here, but come on down to the uh, intersection of the two midpoints and click. So there you have the circle. Now moving over here, you have traditional toggle between model and paper space. There's for annotative drawings, zoom and pan commands, and some more toolbars. Now I want to show you some of the uh, special features that NanoCAD has. One of them, for example, is automatic dimensioning. So I'm going to come up here to the Dimensions menu, choose Auto, and then simply hover the cursor. When it turns green, it's grabbed the entity, and I can come over here and just keep right on dimensioning like that. Press Enter to end the command. There's all kinds of design settings that are quite unique to it, and I'm not going to go through them all, but here's one example I want to give you for dimensions. You can uh, specify the layer you want to have it on. NanoCAD support points clouds. I'm going to come up here to the menu, point clouds, import, switch to rendered mode. There's the file. Open it. Takes four seconds to open. And then we see a preview of it. You can see it's 1.2 million points. Consists of five separate cloud files. Let's uh, bring it in. A few more seconds. There it is there. We can uh, zoom in and see the points. Let's hold down the shift key and rotate this around so you can see what it is. And there you can see the uh, scanned pump building. And then you can manipulate it through clipping, sectioning, display the boundary, get information about each one. When you use a CAD system, you need help, and here NanoSoft provides a number of different types of help. Here's the support center for registered users. Here's the online forums, the YouTube channel with uh, videos on how to use the software, and the help screen. Here we see the various APIs that are available to users. 
All in all, you have a capable CAD system here that has some remarkable functions rarely found in other CAD systems.